So today we are going to talk about you know page filter so and story filter. So let's look into first the page filter topic. Okay. So page filters are nothing but input controls that are applied at a page level. So currently you see we are in page one. So we can add multiple pages, you know, to the story. So for example, if I add one more page here, now page one is different, page two is different. So if you define some input controls on page one, so the in whatever selection you given on the input control is applied only on the pay widgets, which means the all these styles within the page one. So if you define another page control, you know, input control on page two, so the selections will apply only on page two and will not affect any widgets on the page one. Okay, that is the point you need to understand. So how to add this page, uh, you know, uh, input control. So how we can do it? So go to the plus section. Here we can see input control. Where is this? It is not here. Mm. Yeah, here. You see input control. So when I click on it, so what I got page filter. It is a, because, you know, we call it as a page control. So page filter. So when you go here, it is showing all the dimensions, measures that are available in the, um, you know, uh, model. So we can create this page uh, input controls on measures also. Similarly, we can create this page filter on measures. So I'm selecting measure and out of it now currently I'm selecting the plants. Okay. So, and then I'm going, yeah, I'm selecting the plant dimension. Uh, once I set filters for the plant, it is asking, so what are the uh, filters that you want to display uh, at this, uh, you know, page filter level? I want all the members. So select this uh, checkbox, all members, and click on. And you see, allow viewers to modify selection and multiple selection. Now it means uh, I'm providing a page filter where, where user can select multiple plants at a time. Okay, select OK button. So when you click on OK button, it is showing small icon, right? But uh, you know, by clicking on this uh, arrow mark, you can expand this page filter. Generally, filter page filters, you know, our input controls will be placed on the left hand side of the storyboard, and all the other, you know, um, this uh, charts and all will be placed next to it. So I am adding this page filter on the left hand side, then moving my here chart here. So, for example, when I deselect all and set only plant one, you see my chart, you know, whatever I'm currently, this bar chart is there, the filter got applied on this bar chart. For example, let's add one more bar chart to understand this. Okay, um, I'm going to add one more bar chart with um, how to hit, you click on insert button. So, it will insert one more tile here. Now, horizontal i am making it as vertical and measures i am taking it as you know amount as a measure and when coming to these uh, dimensions i am taking that data dimension here so in this data dimension i am going to change the hierarchy to select only month level so i am changing the hierarchy to year month and click on set and then at what level i want to show my data at a leaf level means month level so now what happened? My bar chart is displaying data at a you know month level like this. Now what happens currently? You see whatever values I am seeing for each month, those are with respect to plant one. If I select for a currently, if you see the January month, it is a twelve thousand six fifty five. Now when I select all, you see that the value will change. You see it is sixty eight thousand because now the whatever data came for January amount, it is a for all the plants if you deselect any one of the plant automatically the widgets in this particular page will get updated according to this means uh, only now the data what this particular bar chart is showing is only for plant one two three and four okay so what it means exactly when you create page filters page filters will apply uh, apply you know the selection on all the widgets uh, in the chart okay let uh, in the page i can say now uh, let's add one more chart here okay insert one more chart now i'm going to add measure as a quantity i'm going to add dimension as a you know a location and now i am going to change this particular chart type to this uh, donut chart okay so because this we not, not learned in our charts so we can learn this here Okay, now let me bring this chart below to this one. Okay, now for example, when I select, you know, um, plant 5, then you see this is a donut chart also will get updated accordingly. 
now what we are going to learn next so we have only one input one page filter right we can add multiple page, page filters also okay so for example now uh, currently this is multiple selection okay now let's add one more page filter with the only single selection so on which month let's add it on date level for example month so go to date dimension filter by member and select uh, you know here multiple selection or uh, select multiples uh, no no when you go to date selection here what we need to do first we need to change the hierarchy okay so currently when you click on this drop down it will show the hierarchy i am changing to year and month okay and multiple selection hierarchy no it's a single selection hierarchy and which members i want to show i want to show only this uh, um, you know current data john feb march april so individual months i want to show here okay not at a year level now click on ok button so now select you know expand it because it is a single selection now you see it is currently showing a radio buttons means single selection can be achieved by using radio buttons and multiple selection can be achieved using you know uh, check boxes so i am adding here so when i select this february you see the all the charts will be you know updated with february information even you see this amount per uh, date means uh, month level information we are seeing in this bar chart right so here only february is coming because only one month selection you know i taken here and the, all the other charts for example this quantity per location donut chart is there right? this also will get updated according to the month selection which i given here hmm? what exactly performance optimization because uh, an expanded page filter reloads exactly hierarchy okay fine later we see it now this is uh, nothing but page filter now we need to understand right one one filter applied on page one will not affect the other one we need to know, know that now go to page two and uh, add one chart here so now i'm here i'm going to add a simple bar chart without you know much uh, time taking so measure as amount and the dimension as let's say a uh, date with hierarchy at a um, you know month level so you see now in page 2 i can see all the months information whereas in page 1 i can see only april month information what exactly it is showing so filter this whatever input controls page filters uh, you know we defined uh, these page filters uh, are not updating you know uh, are not affecting the other pages okay uh, that is so if you want to apply filter on all the pages in the story then you need to go for Page, you know a story filter so how can to how to add story filter you know um, here story filter right um, just a second so the currently we have this pay plant as a page filter right so we can convert this page filter also into story filter how can we do it by selecting this filter and going to this three dots you see there is a convert to story filter by clicking on it what will happen so this filter is currently at page filter. If you wish to use filter on filter bar, if needs to be converted to story filter, do you want to convert this filter? Yeah, I want to convert it into story filter. So story filters are placed on top of the story. Means uh, in any page you go, you know, this is nothing but a filter bar. Okay, in this filter bar, you can see this uh, story filters. Now what happens now, I'm going to this plant and selecting only plant one here. Okay, then what happens, you see, the selection will apply now on all the plants. So if I go to page one, uh, what happens? You see, only plant one information is coming. If I go to page two, you see uh, how to you know confirm that this filter applying here. Let's insert, um, no, not insert any chart. Let's change the current chart itself uh, using plant also and the additional dimension. Now you see only plant one is coming. So if I go change the story filter to plant two. Um, then you see this particular page also is impact, you know affected with plant to update and if i go to page one here also i can see plant two was applied okay so what exactly we are understanding story filter applies on all the pages and page filter is applied within the page okay and there is another concept what is that concept called uh, linking linked analysis okay so that concept we will learn in our next session